I guess the only thing that's left to do is to look at Vorsh's subreddit and find some, some new cringe. Oh, that complaining about Sean. This is classic Vorsh subreddit stuff. Donald Trump was a pretty average president. Yeah, true. He's, he's a dreadful person, but he did nothing that's out of the ordinary when compared to his recent peers. Yes, true. There's literally nothing controversial here. Unless, of course, you're some f***ing liberal Vorsh stream watcher who thinks that, like, the Democrats are the end-all be-all of politics, and you just can't f***ing accept the fact that every single US president and politician is nothing but a proxy for corporate rule. Then you might take exception to this. An attack on the US Capitol? Oh no, that's so terrible. Wow. As opposed to the US presidents who, su who support much more than just a, r a bunch of random fucking protesting losers going into the US Capitol, that they support actual CIA paid soldiers going into the capital of other countries and, take it and taking it over and assassinating its president. So actually, yeah, he is pretty average in those terms. Supporting terrorism in general? You think other US presidents don't support fucking terrorism? Or does, does, does the terrorism only count if it's on your soil? Remember, all US presidents are terrorists. Like, how do these people reconcile the fact that they, they love fucking Chomsky, yet they're here trying to paint Donald Trump as some sort of especially terrible US president? Obama is worse than, worse than George Bush and Tony Blair, says Noam Chomsky. True. Let's go to, uh, uh, it, it, I've already talked about uh, his attitude toward Egypt, the usual one, uh, follow the usual game plan, which I mentioned. Let's take Israel-Palestine. I mean, he, his position is shocking. He, uh, he's refused to do, I mean, there was just a, a UN uh, Security Council resolution a few weeks ago in which uh, calling uh, on an ending of settlement, settlement expansion, and declaring the settlements illegal, which is not even controversial. Well, Obama vetoed it uh, alone. Like... The idea that Trump is something Except different. If the Nuremberg principles were applied, every post World War II president would be uh, indictable. That's probably true. Can we run uh, run down them real fast? What did Eisenhower do that you would indict him for? Well, Eisenhower uh, overthrew the conservative nationalist government of Iran with a military coup. Uh, he overthrew the first and last democratic government in Guatemala by a military coup and invasion, leading to years of it. Uh, in Iran, it led to. They might not have worked, we don't know, but there were opportunities for diplomatic settlement, which the Bush administration refused to consider. Look, if you're trying to paint Donald Trump as anything but average in terms of US presidents, you quite simply just do not consider foreigners human beings. That's the only way that you could possibly think that that's a controversial statement to make. And look, someone here made that same fucking point. Are American lives work more than, worth more than... Of course, but there is a difference between US presidents supporting terrorism in foreign countries and supporting domestic anti-US terrorism. Why? These people are supposed to be leftists? Like, just straight up nationalist bullshit here, like separating people along national lines and saying that things are... Like, it, it's the same thing, it's the same shit as someone saying that, like, you know, like, like a crime against an illegal immigrant is less severe than a crime against a, a citizen of a country. There's no fucking difference between this and a statement like that. Just straight up valuing the lives of people in other countries. Less. Yeah, to an American president, American lives should be worth more. It's kind of their job. Upvoted on, on a supposedly leftist anar anarchist subreddit. Every single one here trying to say that Americans are not worth more than foreigners is just getting downvoted. This guy says, where did this idea come from that people think Trump was better than his predecessors? No one thinks that he was better. The claim is that he's a he was average, that, he, that what he did was not exactly out of line. Trump was an average Republican, that's true. Trump governed as, as any fucking average Republican would have. And all that they can list, of course, is like a couple of things domestically. And then when they when they get to the stuff they did that he did um internationally, it's all the the stuff that fucking Hillary Clinton would have done exactly the same intervention in the Middle East, coup attempts in South America, harsher cu Cuba sanctions, continued deportations. By the way, Obama deported more people than Trump did. Putting conservatives on on the Supreme Court, like. That's that's a, a really funny thing that I, I see them saying, like, if you have a system where the president can just appoint whoever he wants under the Supreme Court and, and the president do doesn't do that, he'll be a fucking moron, okay? If Biden has a chance to put free fucking conservatives on the Supreme Court and he doesn't do it, you should fucking be outside his fucking house not letting him leave until he fucking does it, okay? These people, like, believe in, like, the, the West Wing sort of mysticism that the U.S. has, like, a political system that is worth upholding and protecting or something. But, like, they believe in, like, the code of honor, like, the fucking honor system. Like, don't do these things that the system 
specifically allows you to do because if you do them, like you're breaking some sort of imagined code of honor. These people are just fucking liberals. There's nothing complicated about it. They're just liberals. He was better than Bush. Downvoted. Are you fucking kidding me? George Bush is, was easily the most murderous US president in the last hundred years. And that's saying a fucking lot, man. Someone saying this shouldn't be controversial getting down but what is what is Bush for? What is Bush for at this point? This is fucking destiny level shit at this point. Like he's churning out people who think exactly like your average fucking destiny fan. There's no difference anymore. Unbelievable stuff here. Straight up fucking US nationalist liberal bullshit. So this idea that Trump is some sort of especially bad president, it's, it's clearly just a symptom of these people being like a bunch of fucking teenagers who can barely even remember Obama's second term, let alone anything else. Let alone people who have like any sort of desire to actually read and inform themselves on how things were beforehand. Trump was a walking nightmare. How? If Trump was a walking nightmare, man, then basically everyone before him, aside from maybe Obama, was just as much of a walking fucking nightmare. These people are, like, they're just so superficial, there's no systemic analysis at all. It's just all about optics. It's all about the fact that Trump will just say what other Republicans think out loud while doing the same sort of shit that they do. Like, they say, like, Obama was anywhere near as bad as Trump. That's not what was said. What was said here was Trump was average. Things that he lists, let's see. Trump's trans military ban. I don't fucking care. Am I supposed to fucking care if trans people have the right to join the military and go and murder foreigners? Like, give me a fucking break, man. That's the first thing you list. Every single thing here, too, solely to do with US stuff. What is here that Jeb Bush wouldn't have done? Conservative Supreme Court picks. Yes. Denying trans people health care. Yeah, he would have done that, too. Pushing for a border wall. I mean, a border wall that is essentially a useless thing anyway. But Jeb Bush would have been, would have had the exact same fucking sort of immigration policy, just would have been less overt about it. What against the ACA? Yes, he would have done that too. Immigration policy in general? Yes. Muslim travel ban? I imagine maybe that, maybe on that, they wouldn't have explicitly done it, like, so, so obviously. That's about the only thing that I can think. He also tried to overthrow our government, which would have led to a full-on fascist takeover. Do these people think, like, a bunch of fucking random morons storming the Capitol building is equivalent to, an, like, a real, a real risk of a government takeover? You don't take over a government by just having a bunch of idiots in a building. That's not how things work. There's no sort of institutional takeover risk there. Like, all that they would have done is just loiter, lo like, they would have taken, like, let's say, even in this sort of theoretical world these people lived in, where some, a bunch of unarmed fucking losers storming a building could have possibly taken it. Like, let's say they storm the Capitol building, you know, everyone's evacuated, they get in there, they took over the Senate chamber, woohoo, yeah, we got it. Well, what now? Well, what do we do now? Do we control the government now? No, you fucking don't. That's not a fucking coup, that's a bunch of fucking morons. Occupying a building for a few hours. Fucking delusional. It's, these people have gaslit, gaslit themselves because they so desperately want to believe that being a liberal in the US makes you some sort of victim. So they've gaslit themselves into believing that, that like, the, the capital riot was the same sort of thing as what the US does to other countries. Organizing actual military coups and stuff. They're so desperate to believe that what, what they do in other countries ha is also happening to them. While, while simultaneously arguing at the same time that somehow Trump was out of line with what so many other US presidents have done, which is what I just, exactly what I just fucking talked about, like supporting coups, supporting fucking death squads, supporting genocides, etc, etc. Man, one year of Bush was significantly worse than four years of Donald Trump. They also do this thing like tripled the rate of drone strikes. Obama did too, it's nothing to do with fucking him, like, having a conscious policy to triple the rate of drone strikes and everything to do with the changing nature of fucking warfare. You know, as the years go on and on, more people are being killed by unmanned drones. That's the way it is. Kowtowing to Russia at every opportunity? Oh no! Undermining the United Nations? Do you think the United Nations does anything, man? Every US president undermines the United Nations anyway. Every single time the fucking UN condemns the US in any capacity, there's always a fucking veto. Every time they condemn Israel in any capacity, there's always a veto. It doesn't matter if it's Trump or Obama. Oh man, he left US government departments in shambles? Who fucking cares? Are you leftists or are you liberals who just got done watching the fucking West Wing? What am I reading here? These people seriously think that they're serious fucking leftists. He ran a mafia state? Man, 
Trump didn't have the chance to fucking change anything about the nature of the state. What he ran was a state that was already there. If you think that it was a mafia state under Trump and now it's a good, it's a, it's a good and just state that fights for working people or whatever, you're fucking insane. Foreign policy he was horrible too compared to what? Obama presided over the fucking NATO intervention in Libya. That alone is worse than anything that fucking Trump did during his entire presidency. That one fucking thing. How are these people like this, man? Apparently Trump antagonized North Korea. Trump literally said that he's in love with fucking... He fell in love with Kim. Are you kidding me? Trump was terrible for foreign policy. For one, the way these people talk about other countries as foreign policy, again, it's disgusting. It's always framed as, as, in, as in like how the US can act upon other countries rather than like, you know, anything else. It's all about us acting upon them. For another, Trump was terrible for foreign policy. Yeah, so has every fucking US president ever has been terrible for foreign policy. Your fucking point? He was significantly worse. Are you fucking kidding me? As I said, Libya alone, worse than the entirety of Trump's presidency, every single thing that he did. For Bush, take your fucking pick between Iraq, Afghanistan, either of them, worse than anything that, that Trump did during his entire pre pre presidency. The biggest foreign policy disaster in decades? What the fuck are you talking about? I, these people have to be liberals who are talking about in terms of like US being like the global, the global leader or whatever. U US hegemony. That has to be the way they're thinking about this. Because in terms of actual, like, just destruction and genocide and harm done, Trump was actually not as bad as Obama, as Bush, at the very least. As I said, Libya alone makes Obama worse. Iraq or Afghanistan alone, take a pick of either one of those two, makes Bush worse. These people are not fucking leftists. I've noticed a lot of leftists often can't distinguish between harm caused by US presidents internationally versus internally. That might be because we don't consider US, li US citizen lives to be worth more than people in other countries, you disgusting fucking nationalist piece of shit. That is to say, one person killed by the US abroad is equal to one killed at home. You're seriously fucking saying that that is not... That is something that leftists should not aim for? I've voted 11 times? I've voted 11 fucking times the idea that a US, li a US citizen's life is worth more than, than someone killed by the US in another country? Harm caused by a leader to their own people is a greater violation? No? The entire fucking point of leftism is internationalism. Solidarity based on class rather than national lines. These people are just borderline fucking fascists here. What the fuck am I reading? These people think they're different to Caleb Morpin, but they really aren't. This is... I think he's better than them on this, honestly. If this is your audience, Forsh, if this is the audience that you've cultivated, you're worse than just a, a normal liberal, honestly. Even fucking Human Rights Watch. Like, straight up centrist liberal institutions who are basically US foreign policy devices like Human Rights Watch are better than your audience on this sort of stuff. Like, this is hurting my head. I didn't expect to be able to get a fucking clip video out of looking at a rant, the first fucking thread I saw on Vorsch's subreddit. But this is fucked up. This is honestly fucked up. These people are worse than liberals. This is straight up nationalist, liberal sort of, conservative liberal sort of, American exceptionist nationalist sort of stuff. These people are imperialists. These people are not internationalists. These people have a... A nationalist sort of sort of analysis of, of the world. If there's if there's ever any doubt that Vorsch's audience are a bunch of fucking liberal US nationalists, just just look at this thread. It's the best evidence you'll ever see for it. Yes, Trump was an average president compared to all of them. That's a fucking fact. Listen to what fucking Noam Chomsky says. Your own fuck the guy who you guys pretend to care about what he has to say when he when he agrees with you on voting for Biden, but you ignore everything else. This guy's trying to say like US deaths from the pandemic make Trump worse than, than fucking Bush literally invading a country and intentionally doing a genocide. Are you kidding me? Honestly, this hurts my head to read. These people are worse than the average liberal. The average liberal would not say out loud. Like the average centrist sort of human rights sort of liberal wouldn't say out loud that they think US lives matter more than, than foreign ones. This is why I often say that I don't think that the US left, or so-called, I don't think these people are left at all, I don't, honestly don't think the US has anything resembling a left. This is why I often say that people who consider themselves to be on the left in US, and the US just are not remotely allies to the rest of the world, and they should pretty much always be ignored. 
because of what we just read. This is like a guy who, who is often framed as like the big fucking, um, you know, the big fucking king of the online American left. And his fans are there essentially making a nationalist analysis of the world, saying that American lives are worth more than, than, than anyone else's lives. Therefore, um, the fact that the US does genocide in other countries isn't, isn't as big of a deal. Like, you cannot see that and think that these people are on the left at all. It makes no sense. It's just straight up a, a right-wing sort of analysis of the world. If you're on the left, you make a class analysis. You don't separate people on, along the lines of nationality. You separate them along the lines of class. But these people are straight up nationalists. There's no other way to put them. Liberal nationalists at best. And I, I, as I said, I think that's honestly kind of generous. So if that, if this fucking guy and his audience are the best that the US left has to offer us, then as someone, you know, from literally any other country in the rest of the world, I have to say, no thanks. We don't need you. Please shut the fuck up about anything outside of your own borders. Stop inserting yourselves into any conversations about the rest of the world. We don't need you. We don't want you. You're actively harming the rest of us. And I know that's going to hurt some of you because you, 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 a lot of you are probably Yankees. There's a difference between saying that, like, you know, I'm sure there's some people in the U.S. I'm sure some of them are nice people, as Donald Trump would say. But, like, the U.S. as, like, a, a movement, the U.S. left as, like, a movement, so to speak, is just absolutely beyond, beyond hell. It's actively damaging to the rest of the world. So, yeah, I... I happily reject it and I have no fucking faith in it ever getting any better just from what I've seen over the last 10 years.